have in this series they had yesterday versus getting attacking at the same time not going one by one yeah rehearsal etiquette that's definitely i'm sure the thing that gets looked at here for the side of la and they find every single kill nasty's able to find a double but at least atlanta phase finding an early prime as well yeah absolutely the case could have a little bit of a 50 50 battle through mid joe the map thieves end up holding on to the spawn side that they prefer 1v1 around the side you're able to find that kill on to sell you're also holding down admin trying to hit of course also one of the players that's been helping pick up when things start to get a little bit mixy around the back side of these hills good trades good kills crap working on the new side of two nasty trying to get number six for the cruise missile cut now you have to break into the setup of atlanta phase they have struggled with their kill a break early on into this p3 that's exactly what we were talking about. Find a way to come in close, but Kremp is doing a miraculous job Woo! over the top of the bar. Gonna be on the four in a row. It's gonna be sent in a one-on-one -on -one versus Kremp. He is gonna lose it, so you have the rotation if you are Thieves. You also spawn a couple players out from Atlanta Vegas. This is the opportunity to blow the game wide open. Yeah, that's a good break coming in early. So you can walk away with the final 40 seconds, almost tied the game up. But it was a route right there from BBZ, still pushing through that old. Just the liveliness that we saw from Thieves yesterday is still here on this oh, yeah. versus face. But there's that little bit of an extra something, something. I think in particular in the last 20 seconds of these hard points, whether it's finessing the old time when you've already won a lot of it. 20. Now you have to work your way in towards P1 because this was an issue for them yesterday. That P1, I mean, that P5 to P1 chain yep. caused a problem for Serrano. Can't have it here. Yeah, this is a weird timing just because you had to commit so many resources to try to find a break on the old time. Now it's just down to King. Volume turn to 11 for LA Thieves. Atlanta, though, trying to find a way to bite back as we jump to. I'm going to double stage. I'm going to double stage. New. All it's going to take us four seconds here, Jay, and the Thieves. They are fired up comparatively what we heard from FaZe. Oh, yeah, and that leads to a three, Dad. You only need four seconds. Wow. You find all four in the feed, and that's going to be LAT coming out swinging. Yeah, I, I think the thing that threw us into the communication is that if Atlanta phase is like they were drooling, a little sleepy, you know, today is Father's Day, Draza probably had a... Teams have not been able to punish them on is their weakness in rotating, especially on some of the newer maps, this one in particular, they don't rotate on this map all that well, but they find very successful breaks. Crap doesn't fall, uh, Atlanta still could not work that objective, and you probably give yourself a better chance, but once he drops, man advantage. That time continuously is getting away from him. Just hasn't been able to spot a single player from LA on how they're playing this post plant setup. It's already 20 seconds wiped off the game clock. Yeah, this is GG. Yeah, correct. For the first blood for Thieves. And now this is going to slow down Atlanta's push because they're more focused on what Jaws can then get done over at the island position. For the top here for Thieves, all headed over towards where Draws and Ibiza are, and they've set up the exact same setup towards B, with the exception being that Ibiza has already gotten up to AC. But Thieves not over the middle of the map. No. So 15 seconds to work with. Selium just going to throw shoulders. Make sure the play is coming over towards B. And you don't want to give up your life for free because here comes Simp. Just ready to go for the double job. For Atlanta, can they make any more noise? Can they try to pull this defense around a little bit and get a BZ of free first blood? That's got to be the entire intention here. I think it has to be the bomb carry. Slide out to the bomb, force them to throw one another. 2v4 situation. Kremp able to surprise one, but the trade is immediate. And now Ghosty's giving himself away. And the rest of phase could you take a look at this map from both camps? Nasty's gotten through three in a row. Knows that Dross is playing topside propane. Looking to see if maybe he can catch someone else on the cross out of the backside windows. Not to be as two members for phase will jump on. Nasty there to meet. Kremp is able to fly and find that final kill. On to Draza, but selling him across the map, still giving themselves opportunities. Only seven seconds left. Clock does not stop as Ghosty takes down to BZ over towards A. Septex sticks on to Sip. That'll be good for the Ghosty. He's able to change that story. And LAT still giving himself opportunities. A lot of time on this game clock. You're still working on that one segment over at A, but you have two to make up for. In this next minute and 20, 
should first and foremost be about getting Joe kill number six. No way, he just steps into cell. Ah. Reaming him. Okay. His teammates were still trying to come off spawn, and Joe just gets a little too aggressive, trying to take the 1v1 versus Cell, who had every information on where he was. Good follow up, though, from Nasty, and then Joe off his read and taps from the backside shack, and Seth goes to the ladder, and that elevation play allows the kills to come through. BZ following up with the double, and Nasty, the last one standing, will also drop. So now Atlanta can push up and stop the Thieves from likely having any good secondary hit here towards A. Yeah, no more raid spots. It's still 10 seconds, so. Ladder pit plus the shots towards Kremper, decent, but not good enough. And with that, the Thieves can get to work on running this through the B side of the map. Yeah, they're already dominating B Street, so you, now you're forcing it. Not have the numbers at either side besides a point, but draws it just finesse for so damn long that allows Atlanta face to execute that three stack, extend this time. But now they have players on the pinch. Draws, unfortunately, is going to drop off the respawn, but... This is their opportunity. You have to make it count. Simp is selling at least fine too. So they still have a chance at this. Now you got to get on the point. Yeah, Ghost. He's trying to contest it from hell. He steps. He sets up Simp for the double. Now Atlanta phase have all map control. LAT got to yeah. work their way on out. This is a difficult setup to break through if you're LAT. Got to work this a kill at a time. That will be a very first pivotal gun for for everyone else to fall at the same time. Thankfully, Ghosty and Joe deceives. They come out in a numbers advantage. Now you can slowly work your way in towards this B point. Just got to be prepared for a BZ on the jump up and every. But now you just fall short another time. That's one of the things that we talk about when phase are on a HP titles. They're very difficult to trade out. But Kremp makes good with the Semtex plus the follow up rival nine to get some of this really good scrap time. And then the 1v1 battle over towards the BZ on P2. Fights. Sal over the back does find Ghosty. Now all the focus is all about who comes down into this little drop hole and a BZ right there to find Joe Deceives trying to finesse his way in. So Thieves still with the favorite spawns, but the setup looks oh. a difference. Joe's off three in a row. The read that Cell is here should have LA coming into the hard point with their guns up, ready to go. And it looks like that's indeed the case. Ghosty watch in the middle. Nasty, backside heady. Not clean on the first set of kills, but Ghosty follows up perfectly. Looking to play off a bit of a pinch through the backside of the sky bridge. Right in place for it though is Ghosty just does not expect the second. So the Tiny Terror is getting to work on breaking the hard point and they will be able to do so. Kremp last one left, but he's trying to rally their way back into this hard point, not allow LAT to start blowing this game wide open, but they do at least find that initial gunfight over towards Waterside. So they have a little bit of steps control. They're already showing presence over towards top VI prep. In this scenario, you gotta play your life. Absolutely the case. And he may be looking to make a play here on top of that. Right up and behind, Cell, free first blood. Here comes the pinch from the front now. Atlanta trying to back off and deal with this. Oh, but Kremp able to shut down another. Draza, Simp, last. How about this hold opportunity though for the Thieves? Oh, they don't deal with Cell. Tr trophy system eventually trophy. will. Joe deceives from the front. Wait a second. Do Thieves know that Atlanta are actually spawning kind of parallel with them? In, but for how long? It's only Joe deceives wow. in this position. But another opportunity where he makes the play happen at this hill specifically. It's going to allow LAT to walk away with the final 20. Atlanta early off the rotation. And now this is what Joe deceives back towards the hard point. Oh, Seven man. On three in a row. Able to catch a double simp still in contest. And he jumps forward to find Joe deceives. A perfect flawless read from Atlanta. And Thieves have to reset up their next break attempt. Just like, oh boy, Thieves about to run into the blender. But they find the kills they need from inside the hard point. Krep doing a lot of the work at 23 and 18, almost a minute inside the hard point on top of that. Phase sticking around though. Atlanta in the hard point to start. 1v1 between Cell and Krep. They exchange utility and Cell comes here from Atlanta and Cell may earn one of his own on five. Draws a damage over towards DJ Boo. Swaps to the rival nine. Not good for a fresh health in Kremp, but how about Sip? Pushes forward, finds Bolt. Looking for the full team wipe. Not able to grab it. And a BZ will actually kind of steal away Salium's sixth kill, but still brew up a possible counter. 195 to 187. Tough scenes right now, though, for LA Thieves. They need to find a way to break this thing open, and the nades actually just get danced around. Atlanta get the read that they're all coming in, so they try to back out of the hard point. Can the kills come through here for LA? Sure do. Three for one. We're supposed to pick that up, so now it's just down to Ghosty. He gets dealt with. Joe has one player who spawns with him in the form of Kremp. This is a 2v4 for LA. First couple of the shots are decent. Draws a swap. It. Oh, man. He's picked up. Able to take down the pinch. Hard point goes neutral. Face still holding on to the lead, but LA have dealt with. 
FaZe watching everything at the moment. Just comes down to can Thieves actually break this open with the setup. The opening nades are good. The follow-up shots are better. And FaZe have a chance to win the game here. But Krempf keeps the play alive. Just down to can he stay alive long enough for reinforcements to get here? The answer is no. And FaZe will bounce back. They're saying, all right, we're just going to wait. We and, you know, before we went into this series, I talk about the fact that these teams are kind of mirrors in each other in the sense that they're both fairly strong in search and destroy. Hardpoint could use a little bit of work, and it really showed in this series. LAVs were... Relax. <laughs> but, to the, yeah, but to the right of Crowder, I think.